Shin Godzilla did gigantic business at the Japanese box office back in 2016, was the winner of seven Japanese Academy Prizes, including Best Director and Best Picture, and it revitalized domestic interest in the franchise even more than Godzilla 2014 had done. And it's only now, six years later, that we learned the creatives behind the film had drafted a proposed sequel. And it is this unmade Shin Godzilla follow-up that we will be talking about today. But before we do, please like and share this video, and please subscribe to Monstrosities here on YouTube and consider becoming a patron today. It is totally through the support of viewers like you that allows this channel to continue and create videos like this. Released in conjunction with Shin Ultraman, the Shin Ultraman Design Works book is a marvelous collection of pre-production art. Additionally, it features an extensive interview with Shin Ultraman screenwriter and Shin Godzilla co-director Hideaki Anno. And within these pages is where Anno reveals that he had drafted a Shin Godzilla sequel proposal back in 2016. As a matter of fact, I wrote up a proposal during the filming of Shin Godzilla on February 3rd, 2016, titled Sequel Shin Godzilla Memo, Anno revealed. The main working title was Shin Godzilla Strikes Back, and with the assumption that Mr. Shinji Higuchi would be directing, it's supposed to be something like a Toho Champion Festival-like kaiju showdown. Since it was a thought-up plan to release in 2018, the shortest time possible for a domestic-made Godzilla film to be released, it was a rough draft for people who wouldn't like Shin Godzilla, an idea that wouldn't cost too much or take too much time. I thought it would be bad to let it go to waste, so I gave the proposal, draft, and visuals as a gift to Mr. Shinji Higuchi and Toho. But since it was premature, or whatever, among other reasons, after the film's release, the discussion ended. While I did feel it was a waste, it's not something I could help since Toho is the one who decides what gets made. From this point on, we're going to be taking a more editorial stance in this video. So, as a fan of Shin Godzilla, the very idea of Shin Godzilla Strikes Back makes my imagination run wild. A kaiju battle in the world of Shin Godzilla? What would that have looked like? And what Toho monster would have received the inevitable Shin upgrade? Maybe Anguirus if we're sticking to the Raids Again counterattack route. On a likening Shin Godzilla Strikes Back to a Toho Champion Festival like Kaiju Showdown and saying it was a rough draft for people who wouldn't like Shin Godzilla really gives an idea of how far away this would have been from the original movie, tonally speaking. The Toho Champion Festival started in the late 1960s, a three-film block of Toho Tokusatsu and other movies that appealed to children. All of the Showa Godzilla films, barring Godzilla 54 and Godzilla Raids Again, were released at these events and subsequently edited down. To appeal to children and fit better in the program, the longer films were edited down. Anthony Romero wrote in his 2013 Toho Champion Festival article that appeared on ToholKingdom.com. Some of the films were given new titles that emphasized the Godzilla connection. For example, Invasion of Astro Monsters Japanese title of Great Monster War became Great Monster War, King Ghidorah vs. Godzilla. Shin Godzilla Strikes Back could have made the politics and expansive human cast take a back seat to the kaiju action. One wonders if maybe it would have played homage to the Toho kaiju spectacles of the mid-1960s, much how Shin Godzilla took on the serious tones of Godzilla 1954, and how Shin Ultraman unabashedly sticks to the fun and occasional zaniness of Ultraman 66. Just another ode to a part of Anno's childhood. And it got pretty far too, Anno mentions a draft, visuals… so why didn't it happen? I mean, Anno does point out it was premature. He wrote this sequel Shin Godzilla memo back in April 2016, which was months before the premiere of Shin Godzilla, but he also mentions other reasons. Shin Godzilla was a huge hit, but instead of thinking of doing the obvious idea of making a Shin Godzilla 2, instead think about a world that can be used for a long time. I'd rather make a world of Godzilla. Toho's chief Godzilla officer Kaiji Ota told the Nikkei Style website in 2018, Personally speaking, I think this has been my biggest curiosity over the years as to why Toho hasn't pulled the trigger on a Shin Godzilla sequel and the fact that they seem so disinterested in it. When something like Shin Godzilla comes along and makes a ton of money for the studio, and movie studios really like money from what I understand, and the creatives in charge of Shin Godzilla, whose name recognition adds a hell of a lot of marquee value to your product, by the way, are willing and wanting to work on a sequel, most studios would be like, oh yeah, let's do it, and not, nah, I'd rather pull a Hollywood, subvert some expectations, and not do a sequel. It's just weird. And this is pure opinion now, kind of rings of corporate speak, a polite little mask to cover up the real reasons. Maybe Anno's Shin Godzilla Strikes Back proposal was just plain stinky. 
Maybe Toho wasn't keen on the idea of having Anno leave all of the directorial duties in the hands of Shinji Higuchi. Or we could just take Kaiji Oda at his word and Toho really wants to do their World of Godzilla cinematic universe. Yeah, still waiting on that one. Look, I'll leave the speculation for the professional speculators, but what do you think? Does the idea of Shin Godzilla Strikes Back have any appeal for you? Let loose in the comments below. Let's have a discussion. A huge, huge thank you goes out to the team of Ayaku Web who did the translations for this video at light speed pacing and laser efficiency. Please visit them on their website, Ayaku Web, where you can find lots of translated articles revolving around the world of tokusatsu and anime. Also, follow them on Twitter and like their Facebook. They're good people who very much deserve your support. Oh, yeah. And please like and share this video and subscribe to Monstrosities here on YouTube and consider joining our Patreon. Your support helps out a ton and lets me continue to do videos like these. Thank you very much, and we will see you soon.